This is Max Williams with United Real Estate. And today, I'm in South Richmond. Today, we're going to view a three bedroom, two bath ranch style home. This ranch style home built in 1965, uh, next to other similar homes, uh, of course, uh, typically built around the same time period. Uh, we've got good pride of ownership here. And we are, of course, in unprecedented times as far as real estate, real estate values, and real estate transactions. Uh, wanted to cover a concept uh, that we see now that we typically don't see in a normal market. And uh, it's important for both buyers and sellers to know exactly uh, what some of these terms and concepts uh, mean and entail uh, because surprises are great at uh, birthday, uh, but they're never great on a closing day. So it's important to always be informed. The first concept I want to talk about is appraisal value and uh, whenever a transaction is financed there is going to be an appraisal uh, the vast majority of transactions are finance transactions uh, of course cash transactions is the other type of a transaction for someone that has the means to do so but with a finance transaction there is in our standard contract what we call an appraisal contingency and basically what that means is if a home is for sale for three hundred thousand, and let's say the high bid on that home is three twenty, uh, the appraiser goes out and says, oh, "The best I can do on this home is three oh five. That means that appraisal contingency would kick in, and the purchaser would then be able to go back to the seller and say, "Hey, we like your home, but the appraiser says three oh five is the best value that they can come up with, and we want to renegotiate with you and actually buy it for three oh five. The seller, then has the ability to say yes that's fine or no i'm not going to sell it for 305. now typically they'll go ahead and agree but they don't have to in today's market we are seeing a lot of the offers come in over appraised value uh, there is another concept which some buyers are taking if they have the financial means to do so and they're saying we're going to pay an appraisal gap so let's say that same home the sales price was 305 the high bid was 325 and they said we're going to do a $10,000 appraisal gap. Basically what that means is if the appraiser says 305 is the appraised value, the purchaser will kick in another 10,000 over that appraised value and therefore give the seller more money. And some people say, "Oh, it's stupid to do that. It doesn't make any sense." However, look at it from this standpoint. If there's a 5% appreciation per year, that $300,000 home is going to go up $15,000 in the year. That extra money that they pay for the appraisal gap to them may be worth it. So we typically don't see that unless it's a very, very strong market. So important to understand those concepts. Uh, I'm telling my sellers to don't get excited if offers come in way over what we think they will appraise for because the appraiser typically will have the last word. Okay, we're going to go on in and take a look at this house. We, of course, have a new roof. The inside has been completely renovated, uh, and it looks fabulous. All right, good curb appeal here. And uh, they came in with gray LVP. That's going to be throughout the entire home. Uh, we can see we've got new paint, new windows, LED lights. Those are really neat. They put out a lot of light, nice, modern, clean, recessed look. And of course our open kitchen here as well coat closet convenient to the front door and let's go back to the kitchen area this kitchen is wide open i could see someone uh, going in after closing and putting in an island i think that would work really nicely here in this kitchen we of course have the frigidaire appliances we will convey and this looks like a quartz a black quartz countertop just a really clean modern look of course with the white cabinetry we of course just left the back yard but this door of course takes us actually we've got a little laundry room here your washer dryer hookup is right there so here to the left of the screen that's going to give us some additional storage space so imagine you could put um, shelving or locker in there uh, this is a new gas water heater i know because that flue right there tells us that it's gas fire and we also have a gas shut off and connection line down there at the very bottom all right so you can walk right out uh, there to the back if somebody wanted to put pavers back there 
Uh, they, of course, could do so if you wanted to spend some time in your backyard. All right, let's go back through to the bedroom wing of the home, see what we have in store. Directly ahead is gonna be a linen closet. Could put some shelving in there. And as we go down the hall, got the digital thermostat. I love what they did here in this bathroom. It's just such a clean, modern look. Everything you see is brand new. Now we have a square shaped shower head there. Uh, that shower head does have 81 individual nozzles. Yes, I counted them. Don't judge me. 81 individual nozzles that are going to project a nice stream of water onto your body, keep you nice and clean. All right, here to the left is going to be our most conservative of the three bedrooms. We are now on the front of the house, and this would be a great space for home office, nursery, or just simply storage. Great look. If you are an allergy sufferer, you won't have any carpet in this home to deal with, which is really nice. Low maintenance from a cleaning standpoint. This is going to be the middle size bedroom. We're at the end of the home, still in the front. Notice these are Pella replacement windows. I'm impressed when rehabbers come in and they don't uh, just go in with the uh, bottom of the line. Pella is a good, reputable company. One other thing too, they have energy ratings for windows and it's on this sticker here um, so you can actually compare the efficiency of windows uh, one manufacturer to another which is kind of neat it's kind of like miles per gallon on a car you can compare um, efficiency all right our closet here for this bedroom we're now going to transition into the primary which is right here to the left and good amount of space here. You could get a large adult bed in here with no problem. Our closet right here. Remember, for first time buyers, we have still have some great programs. 100% financing is available. For those that qualify, grant money is still available for those that qualify. So it's important to deal with the right lender. All lenders don't offer these programs. I tell people this all the time. Don't just think that you're gonna get the best deal by going to the institution that has your checking account. They don't care about your checking account. They're not gonna give you any preference because you have a checking account with them. Uh, they are gonna treat me just like they treat you and I've never done business with them before. It's all about do you qualify and here are our rates and terms. Uh, everything else for them is kind of secondary. Uh, we've got a nice larger uh, shower area here that tile goes almost to the top of the ceiling there and got a window here let in some good natural light as well nice design i love the fact that uh here in this ranch we have this second bathroom a lot of homes built in around this time frame this would be a half bath and uh, which isn't nearly as functional as having a three-quarter bath uh, as we just saw all right, that's gonna do it for this one. I love hearing from you guys. I really appreciate the support. I'm getting a lot of inquiries here on the Rent to Own program, which is available in, in Ryko, Chesterfield and Hanover, starting at um, about $12.50 per month. Uh, that is a good route for a lot of people, especially now with the competitive nature of our market. Uh, great for people coming in from out of town. If you don't know the area, don't wanna to commit to a full-blown purchase yet. Uh, without a down payment and um, programs really helpful. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. You can reach on Facebook under Richard Mary Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Special thanks to Ricky Delgado, listing agent, for allowing us to come in and view this beautiful listing. Thanks so much. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.